trends in homes include smart homes, which are energy efficient yeah. and automated. Yeah, and you know, they're, they're vital to enhancing the lives of everybody, but especially veterans who have been severely injured while serving our country. And now there's a movement to build these homes for our vets, and you can help. That's right. And joining us, Staff Sergeant Ben Ebrell, who served two tours of duty and was injured in Afghanistan. And also with us, <coughs> excuse me, Catherine Buchanan of Independent One Carpet and Floor, who is spearheading the fundraising, right? Yes. Events to help build these homes. Thank you. Good both to see for being both here. of you. Thank you for your service. For Thank you. It's my pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Indeed, good to have you here. So tell us about your story because you've <coughs> had more than one tour of duty. Yes, I have. Yeah. Um, 2005, I enlisted. And in the Army, when I was 17, graduated from high school. Uh -huh. um, I served nine years active duty. I've uh, been stationed in Korea and Germany. I served 15 months in Iraq. And I also served two months in Afghanistan. That's my second deployment, and that's when I was injured. All right, and I know you don't mind talking about it, but we just want to let everybody know that. Tell us about what's happened to you. When yes. Did, uh, when and where did this happen? Uh, November 19, 2011, I was uh, doing a route clearance patrol. I was looking for uh, IEDs on the road in mm -hmm. Afghanistan, RC East, Logar Province. And uh, there was an IED on the mm -hmm. spotted, and it kind of dispersed everybody away from the area. And I started visually scanning, and uh, I stepped on a pressure plate, and uh, it detonated on me. Yeah. And uh, resulted in uh, being catastrophically injured and then a triple amputee. Okay. So now I know we all, there are a lot of things that we take for granted when going around our home, you know, walking to the kitchen, doing this and doing that. What are some of the challenges that you faced? Um, a lot of it is height, mm -hmm. uh, reaching in cabinets, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes reaching below, uh, falling out of my chair, you know, balancing, uh, um, moving around in my house if I have enough room to turn. Uh, wheelchairs hit uh, a lot of things, especially I'm in a power chair um, most mm -hmm. of the time to relieve uh, pressure. Um, so I'm tilted back a lot in my power chair also. So uh, a lot of the big uh, obstacles I face are uh, space on a lot of turns, being able to turn radiuses for my wheelchair and uh, reaching up high on a lot of so we can imagine doorways are an issue, all that. Oh, yes. But I saw you come in here, and you're Mr. Maneuver, man. You came in here, and you spun around. So your attitude, your spirit uh, has obviously been affected by this, your, your life and your body. But you're not letting this get in the way of how you perform. Oh, well, you your... can't, though. No. You can't, you know, because once, once you get affected by it, yeah. it, it's like poison, you know, and it, yeah. it affects everybody else also. So it's not just you. So that's the way I look at it. So you always got to be positive about things because, yeah. you know, it's, it's good to be positive. Absolutely. So tell us about the home that's in construction right now. Well, the home yeah. is being built in Alpena, mm -hmm. and um, the home is actually being built through the Building for America's Bravest Foundation. So this is a program that Carpet One stores across the United States and Canada have become involved in. Okay. And it started from a firefighter in New York City that lost his life on 9-11. Um, as he ran from the tunnel in Staten Island all the way through with all of his firefighting gear on and uh, lost his life that day. And the Siller family started raising money for all of our first responders, firefighters, police officers mm -hmm. that lost their lives. And then from that, it grew to taking care of families during Hurricane Sandy. And then it grew into the Building for America's Bravest Foundation. So homes all over the United States are being built for soldiers like Ben and our catastrophically injured soldiers, yeah. smart homes, and our merchandising um, vice president at Carpet One reached out to Mohawk Industries and asked Mohawk if they would consider donating all of the floor. Absolutely, hands down, they Great. agreed. They approached all of the Carpet One members um, across the United States, and we agreed this is something we have to give back. So how can people out here support? How can our viewers help? They can go to our website and hit a little logo about our wine tasting event. And they can also go to www.ourbravest.org and make a monetary donation that way. They can send checks to our store, come into our store, or visit any Carpet One store in Metro Detroit and make a donation. It's not just our store, yeah. it's all Carpet One stores. So great, great stuff you're doing and much Absolutely. success and much happiness in your new house. Yes. yes. You let us know. Can you send us some pictures when it oh, all comes Oh, we can together? definitely do that. Good yes. to see you, Ben. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Catherine. Yeah, Thank God you. bless you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.